Yeah, man. Jamaica. This is Damon Crawford, and may I make this video on behalf of the entertainment industry with the hope that it will fast track the reopening of the entertainment industry and allow for a safe um, reopening for the patrons of the entertainment industry. Now, what we have to recognize and why me really is a, a fighter for the entertainment industry is not because I love to party or because I love to go to events. Um, it's because I see entertainment as an industry for the poor. What we call an industry for the poor? There are some industries that to enter into it as a entrepreneur, you have to have a whole heap of money to invest. Like if you go own a hotel, you have to have a whole heap of money to invest. If you go own a factory, you have to have a whole heap of money to invest. But if you go go in an entertainment, you don't really need. If you keep a party, you don't need a whole heap of money to invest. You can if you had some face on these things, but regular man keep them look at smaller events and him can make a money without a whole heap of money to invest. That is the same thing like with vending is an industry for the poor. Taxi is an industry for the poor because true, you can get a loan with the car easy, then a man now for personally have no whole heap of money for invest. So I look upon this industry now where many people who don't want or don't have a work then forget a wage, start to seek a profit, and then seek a profit through the entertainment industry, in particular music entertainment. Now there's other forms of entertainment like gambling, um I must say racers already um has been approved for reopening. But many hear no conversation about entertainment. So to that extent reach out to some industry practitioners and we have a meeting yesterday and we have a full conversation and we have these recommendations at my home, Auntie, Auntie Babsy, Babsy Grange. Um, and the government will, will consider as a plausible basis to reopen entertainment. Now, before me even going to the proposals that we have still, I want to just explain why we get to those proposals. Now, when we make a plan for any person or any industry, or any activity we have to consider the culture of that activity how it function how it operate so entertainment operate based on crowd now that's a problem because the whole response to covid is anti-crowd but entertainment i go find it very difficult and when we say entertainment we specifically at about music entertainment i go find it very difficult to not embrace crowd to resist crowd. Now, why is this so? For first thing is that the entertainment depend upon crowd for profit. I'm gonna explain how that works. Profit is the the revenue minus expenses. See? So if you're gonna make a profit, your revenue have to be more than your expenses. Revenue is price times quantity. So how much you charge times the number of people we are going to come. Now, you can get a revenue by having a dependence on price. High revenue can be dependent upon high price or high revenue can be dependent upon enough people. So, when we hear people say, um, Chinese man's a quick sale, small profit, him say, him are going to make high revenue from enough people are buy. You understand? But another man can make high revenue from people, look a bit of people are buy and are pay enough money. Entertainment depends upon quantity to make revenue. So if you look upon it, then simple. Let's say that a man spend a hundred grand for keep a party and him want to make twenty grand profit. Then he must make revenue of a hundred and twenty grand. For make that revenue of a hundred and twenty grand, him can say one man have to pay me hundred and twenty grand, or him can say two man have to pay me sixty grand, or him can say three man have to pay me forty grand. I can say 100 man have to pay me $1,200. Or I can say 1,000 man have to pay me $120. Entertainment is going to be more profitable or more likely to make the revenue if him get 1,000 man to pay me $120. More than him get 1 man to pay me $120. While car man like Benz might have said, alright, if 1 man pay me $120, grand, me make a profit. While entertainment is going to be impossible for you to have that because we now pay that to go to an no, no event. 
So because of the unwillingness to pay a high price, the entertainment event I will actually benefit more from from getting enough people. See, so the problem, the first problem with entertainment affairs is that it, it, it depend upon enough people. The second problem is how we party. Because if you see an empty space, the party flap, you now go in at the party if you look in there and see it empty. Because the entertainment space really is a space for interaction. So we are the six, six, six feet apart work is that if you have six feet apart, then a hundred people are gonna need sixty feet long and sixty feet wide. So yeah, look one sixty times sixty that are six hundred three hundred and three thousand six hundred feet square feet for a hundred people. That means say uh, um mass camp then if our example mass camp could have only all could have only all like maybe two hundred people, two hundred and fifty people properly socially distant six feet apart and that are going to be even further affected because nobody now stand up at the same place they are going to move towards the bar they are move towards the bathroom and they are move towards each other forget a dance and stuff like that so anyway considering these things me and the local team were sitting down yesterday with the practitioners of entertainment and i really call the names because we don't want you know if you be perceived you know no no negative way by the government and thing like that but um we come up with these proposals we are going to make to you the first proposal we are make is that the focus should be on ease of tracing more so than small numbers even though we are recommend that no event over 500 should currently be approved in the first phase so 500 should be the maximum to any event in the first phase but we also say that we are focusing more on the ease of tracking than on the um than social distancing come i just explained to you say you know in an event in a venue socially distance you, you basically have no venue we can hold more than 300 people if we're going to be properly socially distanced so we are going to so focus upon the ease of tracking what that means simply is that if we go to an event and somebody where the day at the event end up show up with the virus we want a, a, a method a system we can quickly identify everybody else where they are the event and immediately cauterize or immediately stop the spread of the virus further by coming and checking all of us who might have interfaced with that individual. And so for the first phase, which we recommend is 30 days. So we are say the first phase of the opening of entertainment is 30 days. See? So let us look then maybe from the 22nd of June until the 22nd of July. See? Is the first phase. We are saying that no event that don't have control entry will be allowed for host them event. So what we basically are saying is that an open street dance where anybody can stop is a problem. But an event to have um, control entry is good. Now notice me I say a venue because you have other methods of creating control entry. So a open lot that have barriers or some form of makeshift fencing, whether it is someone put cloth, whatever around it, can become a space with a control entry. But it's not an official venue. You understand? A parking lot can be a space with a control entry. A bar with a lawn, when it necessarily operate as a venue, can create a, a control entry. A, a community um, sports feel can be designed with barriers around it to become a control entry. So I not mean, just say venue, I, mean, I say that any event we are going to keep should prove, the promoter should prove that he has control entry. Now, why is it important, in our opinion, say I have control entry? We think it important, say I have control entry, because we are basically saying that everybody will come have to register as a participant in the dance and everybody in the environment are associated. When we say in the environment, meaning those in the environs but associated with the event so even the man who sell jerk chicken he must register as a participant um at the dance see the man who sell peanut he must register as a participant at the dance so then we are gonna have a database system at the ministry of health that once you are registered as a participant at the dance if me show up with covid then once you enter my num uh, my number all the people who were at the dance Feed them number, I will also show up 
and you immediately contact them and you just quarantine this the the the, the 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 thing by testing those people and seeing who might uh, interface and who might uh, catch it so the question then is oh you're gonna get these um people to register now me that say yo we have to write down them name when them come in or whatever but a man I come with a brilliant idea of saying yo that a promoter when he is now applying for a permit he should put a designated sim card a designated number on that permit registration and everybody will come to the event have to call that number before they go in so once you call the number your number are going to register to that phone see and in getting registered to that phone then now it are going to be entered into this database so if we go wedding wedding wednesday the, the the third wednesday of the month and and um me call this number once me search the database from the ministry of health and my number come up everybody that was at wedding wedding wednesday that wednesday for them number will automatically come up and the people can just contact way and trace way and test way and make sure that we not going to become a source of the spread so to that extent we are recommend say every promoter once them apply for your permit they must designate one or two so one covid monitor to every 250 people so if a man say my have an event with two less than 250 people he want one covid monitor if he go more than 250 people he want two covid monitor because remember we say not over 500 people for the first phase see so therefore this promoter now go down at the kcc or any parish council and him say i want to keep an event on that farm he must identify who is his covid monitor and that covid monitor have to get access to information where them possibly have to go up on a website and fill out a little test for sure so them have knowledge of what is necessary for an event to have um an event to have um to, to be covid safe then so basically this covid monitor the person who are going to have this designated number and are going to be at the gate to ensure that people call in before them come in i go to the the the, 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 the um, jerk chicken man make sure say him call the phone see him we are him have to move police are going to move him and if I, if a vendor come make sure the workers they select everybody call a number if you know so we have total tracing right and make sure so no man and call with no unknown number and all them thing now it's simple if a man no one call um i'm no one nobody have him number i'm just go him yard him not have to come in at the party. Him just go in the yard if him now uh, participate and, and make everybody safe. Simple. Right? So, basically now, what we are saying is that um, this COVID monitor now, I got organize as well, even the girls within the entertainment space, for which we are already now reaching out to certain sponsors who have, have um, sanitary wipes and stuff like that. So that even some of the branded girls can go around now and make sure, say, even though we now move to a bathroom, because all of us now go, go to the bathroom for wash and every time. But maybe upon the hour, maybe every two hours, the, the nurse them can tell us what is a proper, a, a proper timing that them walk around with, with unwipe wipes and them thing there so that we can just use the alcoholic and wipes and wipe off and and, and and thing like that and make sure so we, 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 we keep certain hygienic um, processes even within the space there's also going to be a certain um, recommendation that an entertainment event can have no less than four bars set up meaning a bar to every corner then or a bar to every wall see um so that we don't have a bungling up at the bar remember we say we really are focused on tracking but at the same time if we can make those over a side at the at the, at the event stay over a side and those who they are b side stay a b side and those who they are c side stay a c side and those who they are a d side stay a d side we are using now a square which is four side then if a bar there is and everybody now have to congregate in the center then it means uh, um less people are going to interact with the person who have it if a person have it we're saying that that bar must have a sanitation protocol which is printed and placed on the bar counter or in the bar so that now the people working in the bar 
no say them have to either wipe down every every 20 minutes or whatever they 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 they, they, they help people say right them have to use this particular chemical whether it's bleach water to a certain percent of bleach maybe two cock to every gallon of water or whatever they, they, the people say and stuff like that we also have said that before entering you have to do the natural things like wear a mask now I see that as a problem because our girl them now I got us make it fashionable for wear them mask. You understand them I have them suit with them mask fitting into them suit. Right? So even all the artists them know we are called on some of them for make some tune about mask and at mask and them things that make it be part of the fashion um for wear your mask. You understand? And the, the man them have to just fit into and know so them wear them mask. So this COVID monitor part of them duty of a walk around and make sure say when people take off their mask them indicate say yo no man keep on your mask because we don't really want if you have it you are going to transmit it to other people and, and vice versa so just just keep on your mask so the covid monitor and the little branded girls they might have that duty to just make sure that people keep on their mask we say that also they must have no less than two bathroom we should have then eventually be four bathroom now some people say you know that rough and thing but um what we say is the less people are use the same bathroom the better so you have two male bathroom two female bathroom if on your application you can guarantee that you can get a permit and when the police come in now and just check decibels now you might check the checklist for covid so when the police come and say yo you don't have the four bathroom you dance like half simple when the police come and say yo you don't have your monitor i can't find your monitor Right, because this list when we have this paper registration say Damon Crawford is a man in time, we don't say Damon Crawford, then you dance like half. When the police come and him say you don't have control entry, you dance like half. If the police come and him say, Yo, make me say the, the, the log of people who call in and him say 10 call, but 1,000 people are, are t- no, 1,000 a night. So if him say 10 call and 200 people, then you know, say, Yo, you dance like half. If the police come and say anything will look like it way over a 500, you dance like half. So basically, may I say that if we put these procedures into place, where one, we are focused on tracking more than we are focused on social distancing, the ability to track. To, uh, to, to, to be able to track, we are said that no event we can have control entry can be approved in the first 30 days so you have to have a control entry either a venue or a makeshift venue also we said that you must have a covid monitor so it means that one person or for two, every 250 people have it designated as a covid monitor them responsible to put in the full checklist and to make sure that throughout the day that checklist is being carried out we have said that an event must have four bar one bar to every corner to, to, to make people not have to get up at the bar and they must have some cleaning procedure for the count of the bar so whether every 10 minutes every 20 minutes we are health will sit down and work that out we are saying that to come in you have to have a mask and you must get a temperature check so um some people already said them we them will rent temperature gun and thing like that seeing so therefore we can give you no information about when you can rent temperature gun and 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 and, and stuff like that um also you must um we are, we are try you have to have hand, hand wipes with persons going around every hour or whatever the nurses them say is the right thing with the hand wipes to make sure that people are keep a certain level of hygienic and, and cleansiness within the event and them have a call before them enter so that them number can be logged so we can actually check and trace them um to, to that extent now if this are work it means that promoters have can be banned from keeping events if them don't follow these protocols so to that extent the ministry of god demands say that um, promoters are registered seen and that promoter that is registered if him found by the, the police or if we have covid monitors from the ministry of health um we had a random check if them found to not be satisfying those things then um we are going to remove them 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 them, them permit I remove them um, ability to get permit for another period. We only can decide if a three month or if a six month or if a one year. But we have said that we feel say if these things are implemented, um, we might be able to open up the entertainment industry for the first thirty days to those who have um, control entry. Enough event um, already. Where the Wednesday have control entry? Um, 
um, Bossy choose to have control entry. Um, boom boom event have control entry or can become easy to control. Um, even at Monday can control quite simply with a makeshift um, fence system. So now for the actual weekly events already have that kind of control entry and others are creative enough to to to, to find solutions to that um, control entry. I think if we do that and the team we meet with yesterday some brilliant minds some brilliant man who sometimes people underestimate show them now have no bag of, of papers behind them name but brilliant man them um if we try that i think we can satisfactorily um reopen the industry respect